I've always wanted to be in business, but it's always been very scary. At some point, I used all my resources to the point that uh, kids were chased from school. I know these are stories that people don't hear, and that is the most painful thing that can happen to any parent. Vehicles, actually one vehicle was actually auctioned, another one was on the verge of being auctioned. And then even when we got our first client and they gave us uh, an order um, of, a, of a very small amount, what I would consider small, and we were not able to finance it in any way. But again, if anything doesn't scare you, it's not big enough. My name is Kester Shimonyo Mohanji. Uh, I consider myself to be a marketer by profession. The main reason why I say this is uh, I've been in marketing for over 15 years right now. So the organization I work for, which I started a while back, is called Aquila East Africa. Uh, Aquila East Africa was registered much earlier, around 2008, but it was dormant for a very long time, until around 2018 is when I started focusing on it uh, fully. It was uh, quite a humbling experience because I started it alone. Uh, I remember working from a dining table. Uh, all I had was my laptop from my previous work, my phone, uh, and a printer that um, uh, was in the house, you know, for general, for general use. So Aquila East Africa is a marketing and communication agency. Uh, we normally say we make you look better, or we make you look good. And uh, our main focus areas are four. One is um, advertising. Of course, we do anything to do with advertising above the line and so on. Uh, we do digital communication. Digital is a new media. So there's no way you can be an agency and not play in that space. So we have a huge team of, uh, of uh, youthful people who actually look into that and they have a good understanding and grasp of the digital space. Uh, then we have experiential, though what we do as far as experiential is concerned is a bit different because we work with uh, organized groups, otherwise known as charmers, as opposed to you know the traditional uh, experiential services. And of course we have a production, a small production team that does uh, content that we use mainly on digital or on uh, client events and so on and so forth. I started with one client uh, and with a very small amount of money, I think it was about 70,000, uh, which I still had struggles financing at that time, believe me. Ever since inception in 2008, uh, all the way to uh, 2018, I was always a one-man show, yeah, just working alone, the same person who takes all the calls, the same person who goes for appointments, the same person who services the clients that I get, and so on and so forth. 2018, towards the end, is when now I got two people to come and join me. Aquila as a name was important because every time you introduce yourself and you say I'm from Aquila, people will always ask you, what is that? So you have an opportunity to make your one minute pitch just out of a name. So Aquila, Aquila is an eagle, eagle because I believe in the characteristics of an eagle. So I found Aquila, which is uh, an eagle in uh, Spanish. And the reason why I like uh, the eagle is basically because of its characteristics. You know, things to do with what? Uh, legal has very good vision. So even in business or in life, the moment you have very good vision and you can see further, then it helps. Eagles soar above clouds. So the same thing, whenever I have issues, I know if I'm Aquila, then I need to think of how to go above that and so on and so forth. And again, it stands out. And it's an A, so when we are in alphabetical order, I'm always at the top, so... <laughs> yeah. So in the relaxing area, in terms of my favorite places, this is one of them. Because here you have a mix of the sun and a bit of shade and then it's quiet, you know. So most of my Zoom calls you'll find it's normally outdoor here. So I can change the angle and so on. Uh, but this is basically our, I would say, lounge area. Mm. It is called uh, The Nest. We are yet to put the name here. And uh, Aquila, you know, is an eagle. Mm -hmm. So everything that we name 
here is actually related to an eagle. So like, like now the nest is the place where the eagle comes to rest. And, uh, so we call it the nest. Uh, my office is called the patch. Yeah, this is the patch. The patch. That's where I patch it. You know. Yeah, so things like, <laughs> things like that. It's also working space. Yeah. Before we came over, there was a guy who was working for me. Yeah, so this can take about, can take 25, 25 people. So this is where I was telling you, we'll have the, we'll make you, then the bicycle, a BMX, and then go somewhere. 79 books, 72 books. You can see them here. I'm waiting for the bookshelf. Mostly business and motivational. So like right now I'm reading this one, it's called Fish. It's a simple book, you can read it in one weekend. But very insightful when it comes to changing organization culture in a family. Yeah, so it's very so we, we do presentations from here. But uh, mostly when we are indoors and playing then we play music from here, connect the speakers and then just have you know have fun here. When uh, Liverpool was happening and my knew we were we were actually watching it from here with a few a few clients. The moment it gets to five o'clock like in the next five minutes uh, we we are killer people over here. Yeah una kuja una unlock kidogo but now the look is going to be a bicycle. So it's going to be an L and then the bicycle is hung on the wall and then K on that side. Like on Saturdays we encourage corporates, you know people are uh, uh, busy. So if you want to hang out and um, and for example, you've been left with the kids, then we can we organize small things like that. We come and put bouncing castle. Yeah. So guys sit at the back, just have their conversations and networking. Kids are taken care of. We are we are putting there a swing and so on. So this will be more like kiddies area on Sunday, but it's also working space over there. There's a swing over there. Yeah. So what happens with the agency business is at one moment you might have 30 clients, at, one, at another moment you probably have 15 and so on. But consistently I would say we have about eight accounts that run uh, you know, year, year on year. Uh, and then every so often it, uh, it fluctuates. If you take into consideration the clients that we have for digital and so on, then I would say we, currently we have about 12 clients that we are servicing. That number is likely to go higher because Traditionally, quarter one of marketing is normally very quiet, but from April onwards, then the number goes higher. So we have a lot of prospects that we are talking to who we are certain will, will come on board. I believe um, we spend most of the time in the office more than we even spend in the house and the people we spend time with are actually employees. So I believe in uh, giving them the best um, that they can get. And this is something I've experienced myself from previous places I've worked where I had the best in terms of holiday, in terms of work environment, in terms of uh, medical cover and such things. And uh, so I truly believe in um, you know, making sure that em employees have the best that they can get. So currently we are, of course, headquartered in uh, Nairobi, Kenya. But we have presence in uh, Uganda, where we are fully registered. We are just setting up uh, an initial operational team. Yeah, but most of the works that we do, like digital uh, and so on, we either manage from here or we fly in, do whatever we're supposed to do and come out. So now I have a team of about 14 in the main office, 64 on the ground, and there's a possibility of a few more because we have two other projects that are coming in uh, Kakamega, Kisumu and Mombasa that will need additional staff. It's a bit short term, but it's very regular. So we see the numbers are uh, probably likely to be uh, to hit the 70. But we have clients that we are servicing here who we look to service in Uganda. Uh, I mean, in Tanzania by end of this year. Yeah. Then our plan is also by the year 2024 to also have presence in Congo. 
uh, in view of the great move that is um, actually the country of major organizations going there. So we envisage that there's an opportunity there for marketing services and we want to be among the very first people to, you know, to go on the ground. One is to be able to move into a, a premise where we can comfortably work in. We have a play area, uh, we have a lounge area where we can host a few clients and just spend our time doing creative work, which is our core business. Two, I would say, is uh, acquiring a great team of the best minds that you could possibly get in the industry. So we have you know, all sorts of uh, people that you require in a, in a marketing um, you know, setup who are very good at what they do. And thirdly, I would say, because it used to be the biggest worry, um, being able to manage or to sorry, serve, that ensures that whatever work we get now, we are sort of covered. Yeah, so right now, if we get a scope, um, this is relative, then we are confident that we are able, through the reserves that we've created, through the relations that we have with financial institutions, to cover. Those three would be, I would, I would say, the, the big things that I would, I would consider to be a milestone to, to date. I think tied to the Spanish word, solio dio gloria, which means uh, glory to God, is that I also have a spiritual side. Uh, and even the eagle characteristic, the first time I heard about it was in a sermon uh, by one Pastor George Matthew about the eagle and he brought it out very well. So I got the characteristics from there from a sermon and I lived the eagle and I still maintain that in my corporate and every area. The, the, the spiritual side always features in a subtle way. Yeah, and I believe that's the secret of how we are where we are. Mine would just be to encourage anybody who wants to move into entrepreneurship. It's always, it's always scary. But again, if anything doesn't scare you, it's not big enough. So I just encourage anybody who would like to go into entrepreneurship, start small, but start. Yeah. There will be difficult times every so often. If you must walk, you walk. If you must crawl, crawl. But don't stop. Just continue going. Uh, like any other progression in life, the takeoff is always the problem, even for aeroplanes. Takeoff is a problem. The moment you get to cruise, it becomes so much fun. So it's the same thing with business. It's always hard, but it gets to a point where you, you even wonder what you've been waiting for all this time. So mine is just an encouragement to anybody, especially if you're youthful. <laughs> that is the best, the best direction to go.